Hi, GPR Jones here. On the 29th of August 2009, I watched a blog TV show hosted by the amazing atheist. During the course of that program, a user isnogod12 came into the room. Isnogod12 is someone that I'm familiar with. He has a YouTube channel. He's made a number of videos, which obviously you can have a look at if you wish to. He actually only has four videos up at the moment, two of which are specifically aimed at me and which he tends to post as video responses to any videos that I make. Whilst he was on the blog TV program, he made various insulting and rude comments to the amazing atheist who, after a short while, banned him. A few moments later, he came back under the name Is No God 13. By this stage, I'd been made a moderator in the room, and seeing his return, and knowing that it was indeed the same person from previous experience, I kicked him. Shortly after that, a user in Semin666 began messaging me in the blog TV room. It soon became apparent to me that it might be interesting to keep a record of the conversation. I think you'll understand why. It began with a cheap insult, just calling me a fag. This is not unexpected or unusual. I get it all the time through private messages or channel comments. My response was, Thanks. Can you do any better? He then responded as follows. A list of people I'm getting suspended from YouTube. Rice, you, Coughlin666, Define Metal, Casper, who I presume is Scouse Casper, and all something who were with no lives who kick for no reason. So I asked him, how are we going to get suspended? His response, I'm in a group of flaggers who join together to get rid of hypocritical scum like you off YouTube. He continued, We are currently gathering members. We have 28 at the moment. So I asked him, Are you unable to advance a coherent argument? Is flagging the best you can do? His response, Flagging works. YouTube are dumbasses. If we all flag your videos, you'll get suspended. We've collected 30 members in two weeks. Once we get to a hundred, we'll be ready to fuck you bastards over. So I asked, why do you think we are bastards? Because you have no lives, are total hypocrites, and kick for no reason, and think you're special for being popular on the internet. So I asked, have we offended you in some way? Response? Don't flatter yourself. We're just trying to make the internet more enjoyable for regular users. And get rid of the scene fags, like you retards. Rice is the top priority, and the rest of you next. I then asked why he called us fags, and continued, Do you actually have any argument to advance? Do you believe in free speech? That message couldn't be sent because he had, by this stage, gone offline. So I took the opportunity to have a look at YouTube and check out his channel. There was no channel found under that name, but there were, interesting enough, a number of videos made about him. One by Dark Devil Messiah the other by Coughlin666. Both relate to his false flagging of their videos. He then came back with a further message. So be ready, and tell everyone else to watch what the fuck they say to me, Gaylord. I'm assuming that Gaylord was an insult to me, rather than his name. So I indicated I've got no idea who you are, that again, he had gone offline by this stage, but quickly returned with a link to Free Mr. T Sex Tape. So I asked again, do you actually have a point to make? His response was to send me the link again. He continued, have you been fucking your ass buddy Rice in the ass lately? Although there's probably nothing you've got to fuck him with. He almost immediately continued, no response. What I surprise, you got pulled. And then sent the link another time. So I asked, sorry, I don't understand. What do you mean, no response? What am I meant to be responding to? Your threats? He said, If you stay silent, it means you don't have a good comeback, therefore I raped you. Pawned. And the link was sent yet again. So I asked him, What do you mean by silent? I have asked you a number of questions that you have singularly failed to answer. Ask again, then, he said. So I did. I asked, Have you no argument to advance? Why do you call us fags? Do you believe in free speech? Response, I believe in free speech if everyone else is, but if you kick for no reason, you are committing a massive hypocrisy. 
So I asked, who did I kick? Please tell me. The purpose of that question was because I actually thought he was referring to Is No God 13, although he didn't actually mention him. What he did say was, You kicked me on a number of accounts, as well as a number of your ops and other people in other rooms. It would be so bad if you confronted your ops, but you just let them do it for the kickgasm. I presume he's left the word not out by accident. I'm not going to take any issue with that. I responded, which accounts exactly? I've been kicked on this account, NYBoy92, Marilyn Manson is God, and many more. A few of my previous accounts, and many of the people in my group have been kicked. So I asked him, why do you have so many accounts? And I note that you have still failed to answer the question about whether you have an argument to advance. I never said I had an argument. I was just letting you know that me and my alliance are going to take you down. So, I said, despite claiming to embrace free speech, you are intent on preventing it. But if you kick and take away freedom, we must remove you. Preventing it? No, we are trying to save it. So I went back to the issue of who he was when I kicked him. Are you accusing me of having kicked you from a room? If so, when? And what username did you have at the time? Ages ago, you probably won't remember, it was under the account name NYBOI92. I said that I agreed with something, and you just kicked me for that. When? A few months ago, I think. I have to say I have no recollection of whether I did or not. It would seem unlikely, but I can't say that I didn't. I tend not to kick anyone, in the same way as I don't remove comments from my videos or refuse video responses. So I told him, You are decoming, misspelt becoming, tiresome to me. By the way, I have screenshot all your messages and would be posting a video about you. Fine, do it. To YouTube as well. Thank you for your time. At which point he threw a few more insults at me. Faggot. Eat my dick, fuck you. Get all pissy about it. I responded, I do not think that that is likely. Unfortunately that message couldn't be sent, as he had gone offline again and didn't come back. So what conclusions can we draw from this conversation? Firstly, it appears to have been done with a YouTube user who has now closed his account, but who still has many other extant accounts. Secondly, he's someone with no argument to advance. And thirdly, he appears to be obsessed with making references to homosexual activity in his conversation. The first question to ask is, were these just idle threats? Given his history, I think that this is unlikely. What I think is more likely is that the threats had some truth behind them. Whether, in fact, he does already have 30 people signed up to his flagging campaign is not a question that we're able to answer. It also appears that he has a hit list of channels which he intends to target. So what can be done about it? The first thing is this. I would invite everyone to mirror this video. You can download it from the media file link in the description. Next, please all contact YouTube using the addresses in the description and give a link to this video. Hopefully, although I accept that this is somewhat optimistic, it may have an effect on YouTube's flagging policy. Thank you all very much for watching.